Well, hello, welcome to Cannabis Talk 101 with Blue, Joe Grande, and Adam fucking Ill. Yeah, dude. Adam oh. Eel is in the building, folks. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast, Cannabis Talk 101. Yes. Make sure you check out the website, CannabisTalk101.com. <laughs> As we are the world's number one source for everything cannabis, we have so many great new articles and blogs on the website. It's dope. And plus all the videos. You can actually hear the podcast. If you go there, it's your one-stop shop. Call us up anytime, 800-420. And check out the Instagram page, at Cannabis Talk 101. Blue is at one Christopher Wright. Hello. I am at Joe Grande 52 And I got to tell you guys, if you're going to do something special out there, turn your typical into something special. Now, when it comes to infused products, the flavor you taste should be just as enjoyable as the feeling you experience. Visit the website, LoranOils.com. L-O-R-A-N-N-O-I-L-S.com. Now, we got Adam Eel in the building, folks. Adam, I apologize for not writing up the big intro that you deserve and humbly deserve please, because you're the please. best guy that I know out yeah. there that rocks mics really? in different towns and everything else. And for those who don't know who Adam Eel is, you know, you can go back and listen to a podcast where we've interviewed him in depth and he's talked about his radio history and that history and how he got into cannabis and all this other good stuff. So we're going to skip all that fun history that you've probably heard in the previous podcast. And if you're new to the show, feel free to go back there and get that history from this great guy who we love so much. Yeah. That all being said, <laughs> um, I'm going to skip to, I just seen you and I literally, as you came in the building going, wow. And I looked into your eyes in the building going, the last time I looked into your eyes was literally on stage at Kushtok. And I love the fact that I looked in your eyes and that's where I went. And then you're like, ha, ah, like joking. I'm like, no, really, that's the last time I looked into your eyes. And that's the feeling that I just got of exactly where I seen you. Like, that was so funny. That being said, what did you think about Kushtok? This year, yeah. What do you because think? Because we have our thoughts, and we haven't really given the full thought process of what we think about it yet. Um, but I'm curious on an Adam Ill who's probably been to more Kush talks than I. I'm going to roll the dice on. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and maybe blue. So I'm going to roll the dice on an Adam Ill has been so down with the culture for so long and so what? you know what i'm saying like so <laughs> i want your thoughts and, and don't trip that you know dr k's our guy no no you know, I've, just I've, be I've honest with dr k we all love for many him. years um you know i love events i love the social aspect of being able to see everyone in real life and you know looking at someone in their eye and seeing genuine emotion and being able to experience all that um i mean it was Adelanto. Yes. So that's, that's like the, my thing is it's I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm a fucking I'm a kid from the valley. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So going to Basically Adelanto, a homeboy, no matter where you live in the world, it means you're a homeboy. And you don't like to leave your neighborhood. No, no. I, I mean, look, I'm out here. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I came out here. Well, which that's is, true. Which is a mission. But Adelanto is like a, a, a double mission. mission. And it's like I was born and raised in California and I would have never, ever went to Adelanto for anything. I never even knew of it. Like it's just a city that you drive through if you're going to Vegas and you don't even know you don't even and exit. And you feel like you're going to Vegas when you go there every time. <laughs> So you're borderline like, what am I doing? My jaw starts Literally. going to the fucking side. Oh, I hit that fucking 15. I'm all, uh, my, my jaw just starts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. what am I doing on this road right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a tweaker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so I get what you're saying, I mean, dog. It feels like that, too, in that area. But like, and then the jaw goes harder once you take that exit. Yeah. Once you get on that exit road, <laughs> you just start going. But listen, listen. <laughs> shout out to the city of Adelanto for Big letting ups. us be there and letting us have an event and letting us consume it. I know the mayor comes out and the city council's Dude. there and they support us so shout out to Adelanto for allowing it i mean i would allow it too if i had a city in the middle of nowhere and needed people to come so appreciate them for doing it and um, they have a lot that, like the, the grower or the probably one of the per capita most grows in, I would the, in, think the, that, in the state of yeah. california i would say that that's you know a great I mean? argument to think that that's the biggest for, for, for agriculture per people, growing per people for, for cannabis yes. you know which which is a huge and, bottom and line the that first, means there's just a lot of grows the out there first in california yeah. so they're pioneers in the cannabis space let's not get it twisted they've done their damn thing and yeah. they deserve to have our events out there but yeah but they also have like a federal prison out there too that's and right they by also it. have uh, the deport the, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's I ironic see, i also it's see so guy, ironic <laughs> it's so ironic i'm not gonna front i went to the gas station and i seen a guy taking a nap right there yeah. you know what i mean there's that out there too well yeah, they got that right here on the, the, i mean that's, that's anywhere that's, anywhere that's on beach yeah, boulevard yeah, that's, yeah, that's every, in the valley la i, I mean la or socal dude that's SoCal. anywhere now that's crazy but um besides being all the way on adelanto um another issue was usually the weather but the weather was nice it had a nice breeze a, my was hair was blowing in the wind i felt like super diva moment it wasn't too hot no and your hair looked good because when i seen you on stage i think I, the first thing i said to you was your hair looks good Oof, thank like, you i mean it was not a joking either i give the plump compliments to a man in a heartbeat compliments compliments and all of them 
Hell yeah, no uh, shame. Yeah, yeah, no I loved shame. it. So you, that was good. The weather was good. The weather was good. Um, there was people that showed up. There was a, a a good amount of people, and I like how they didn't just have cannabis stuff. They had like a break dancing section yeah. upstairs. They had like a burnout drifting yeah. section. They had yeah. art. Um, you know, it was cool. Uh, they had some good brands there, and oh. you know, there was places to sit. There was plenty of food options. Overall, it was a it was a good event. It was just yeah. in Adelanto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you been before? To Kushstock? Yes. In yes. Adelanto? I've been to Kushstock. I've actually been to that venue uh, multiple times for different events, and everyone sure. uses that venue differently. So anytime someone actually uses the field, and you could be on grass instead of just in the parking lot. Yeah, the parking they, lots. Other big companies usually do it just in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's always better when it's on the field. When you're on grass, it's always feels yeah, you're good. Chilling. I, this yeah. is the first time I went to Chris Stock and it was on the field itself on the inner circle. Yeah, yeah. I was and there. I like it that way better. Yeah. I've been there when it's been outside only and I just looked in the field like, oh, yeah. well, why didn't they do it in there? And the wrestling is also always a plus for me. I love is the wrestling. It's funny how wrestling is, is, is He big. loves the wrestling. I love you know, the wrestling. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people, some people are, you know, you know, frown on the wrestling and I know that you love it and one of the things I like, you know, I grew up watching wrestling so it brings me back to my childhood watching that shit, dude. And, and I have a good time with it um you know and and uh, honestly these wrestling guys their booking team are phenomenal because they book that damn wrestling team everywhere dude, we're going to washington dc and she's having yeah at, at it's that the same convention. it's the same dudes yeah yeah kind of pro wrestling yeah uh, Canna norris Canna yeah yeah norris, he, norris. Yeah, yeah norris he's Shout uh, out to norris man look when norris i get the opportunity no i try to become the ring announcer dude i've i've was a ring announcer for a couple of the events nice it's you know i was a uh, i was uh the bruce buffer the michael buffer the dude like Coming to the ring, weighing uh, 280 pounds from da -da -da -da. Yeah. So they let me do that, and I was like, yes, this is my road to WWE, bro. I start here in the back. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it was fun, and I'm just like, you know, trying to work with them more, and you might see some character development, and you might see me get in that squared circle one day, dude. I as think a, that's a perfect fit for you, dog. <laughs> you do a little I'll be like really Jimmy is. Hart. I'll do be a little like wrestling. A, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'll be like one of those uh, uh, um, announcers. No, I'll be like the like a manager, like the guy that comes Captain out with the Captain Lou Albano yeah. back in the or, days. Or Jimmy Hart with the whole yeah. horn. Yeah. Do that. Do you know, that. And, and do then that. I come out with the wrestlers Let's and I it. cause distraction. Hey, can we all do it together? Maybe against each you. other. Hey, no, yeah. no, we're all against Look, each do, other. We, we do a whole. We start do a little rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we start a little rivalry. I'm and, gonna get you. Yeah. I'm really the highest host. No, it's like no, you're not. I'm the fattest host. We'll all push each other and shit. It'll be fun. Yeah, Dude, we could have a good time with that. We could actually shit. pull something really. Well, up. I don't know. I don't want to injure Joe. You know. Well, I, I have an injury. That I'll well, that's, better. We'll call, him, we'll call him the injured man. I mean, not only that, I'll come <laughs> in with my cane, right? So I'll come in with a cane. I'll be able to hit you guys with it. Oh, that'd be. I great. just say it's really hard to roll with cotton mouth, but we making it happen, dude. Yeah, man, I feel I mean, that. Geez, you're having the hardest time over here rolling. Oh, dude, I, I like, use like 57 percent human terps right here. I'm usually done at like 20 percent, but it's all good. Dude. <laughs> human like, terps is saliva. Somebody give this guy some water, please. Human, human terps is saliva. If you're just do you need a bottle of water I mean. by any chance, for real? Yeah. Do you want some water? Uh, some water? I would take a. Uh, if there's some a water, water, yeah. Water, yeah. water. If there's a water, get him a soda water with uh with strawberry or lemon. Yeah, the strawberry. Can actually get a hot tea with lemon and honey. No, but. We do have some tea. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm curious. A bubbly strawberry. Bubbly. I want to go this direction. I love how you you're open and honest about the the Kush stock and the events like that. I want to come back and take a break and pick your brain about what your thoughts are on the big one that's on the table over there. Just went here. Just went there on legalization. Do you think it's going to go to the house? And what's your thoughts on the whole process of somebody who gets so excited about it? It's Adam Ill, Adam Ill, the illest host, right here on Cannabis Talk 101. We'll come right back with his answer.